Hey what's up guys welcome back to this quick craft video tutorial in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this bleeding ink text animation before we get started uh, I want to thank you everyone who support me to reach uh, 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and thank you again for watching my tutorial and really appreciate it and yeah let's make it 20,000 so let's get started with the, this tutorial so let's start with a new composition and i'm gonna call this bleeding ink text animation as a composition name and i'm gonna go with full HD resolution 24 frames per second and let's give it a uh, six second as the duration i'm gonna go with a uh, black background okay and hit okay okay guys first up we need to add our text so i'm gonna go to toolbar and select the text tool let's go here and find the character menu if you don't see this you can find it windows and character okay here uh, you guys can use whatever text you like so let's type uh ink something like this i'm gonna select the selection tool and just move it here and i'm gonna just press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to reset the anchor point just like that and just use the line tool to center it like that now i'm gonna just pre-compose this text so select this one right click pre-compose and i'm gonna call this text placeholder this is the composition we are going to place that uh, text or your logo okay so i'm gonna just hit okay okay perfect now we have this text placeholder composition now let's add our effect here so i have this vintage paper text i will put the link in the description where i download this uh, if you go to uh, indieground website indieground.net you will find this website and here go to freebies tab and you will find this vintage paper just click this and here you can download the uh, free textures uh, i will put the link in the description of this site okay and this is really awesome site and i'm gonna just close this up now let's add some effect so i'm gonna just select the text placeholder let's go to effect and preset and search for four color gradient four color gradient effect so i'm gonna double click and let's give uh that ink color for this one okay i'm gonna just place these sliders to a little bit closer to the text and let's give some ink color here and i will just select exact same color like that and i will change a little bit contrast of these text colors as you can see something like this you guys can just play with this one and yeah something like this will should work okay perfect and now uh, i'm gonna add a lens blur effect so select this go to effect and preset and search for lens blur and search for lens and it will give you a camera lens blur so i'm gonna just double click and this will add a real nice blur but before that we need to add a blur map so i'm gonna create a new solid again right click new and solid let's type this blur map let's rename this as a blur map and i'm gonna go with same setting just hit this make comb size and then hit ok now go to effect and preset and search for fractal noise and i'm gonna just double click and i will increase the contrast a bit and also the brightness something like this now i'm gonna just add a uh, expression to the evolutions hold alt and click on this stopwatch icon on the evolution properties and i'm gonna type time multiple 50 something like this if you press the space bar you will have this moving uh, fractal noise now let's uh, close this up you can also play with the contrast if you want something like this and i'm gonna just close this up okay uh, we don't need uh, to see this so i'm gonna just hide it and bring this solid to down like that now i'm gonna just select this text placeholder and then camera lens blur effect here we will see this blur map so i'm gonna set the layer to our blur map and set the source to effect 10 mask okay now i'm gonna just increase this bit not too much and we can also just play with these settings something like this you can also invert as you can see right now it's not that intense so i'm gonna increase the blur radius as you can see as soon as we increase the blur radius we can get that uh, nice bleeding ink effect so i'm gonna go to zero second and set the blur radius to zero and i'm gonna create a new keyframe and let's go to four second something like that and just increase this up okay so 
it will give a real nice looking blending effect uh, it will take a little bit time because this effect a uh, little bit gpu intensive and i right now have a low performance uh, gpu okay and that's why it take a little bit time so i'm gonna go to four second and then press n on my keyboard to in the composition right here now if you press the space bar you will get this nice looking blading in effect now i think the color a little bit too much so i'm gonna go here and just play with these colors okay maybe let's set this to dark something like that ah uh, yeah something like this you can just copy the hex code if you want i think that's cool you can go all all this exact same color but i think it's good to add a little bit of variation something like this yeah cool i like this and if you just press the space bar as you can see you will get this nice looking blending ink effect you can also just select the text place order and then press t to print the opacity and then dial the opacity a bit maybe 92 so it will give that blending effect and yeah that's basically it with this uh, effect i hope you guys create something creative from this effect and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question please let me know in the comment section as always thank you so much for the patreon supporters you guys are awesome and i will be back with another tutorial and have a great day